Welcome into All Things LA Real Estate. My name is PK Noel, and I am running point on this channel. We are starting off 2024. We're getting out to El Sereno for your real estate update here in January. 2023 is behind us. Not the best year when it comes to the real estate industry. High rates, low inventory, but we are going to move past that. We are optimistic moving forward into this year. Things are not fantastic at the current moment. January is never going to be a hot month. I have some optimism for Al Sereno long term. I've talked about this consistently. If you're somebody who follows the channel, it's just a logistical analysis. They need to improve crime. They need to improve you know, the schools and they need to improve their commercial perspective. But it is surrounded by thriving neighborhoods, right? Pasadena, San Gabriel, Alhambra, Highland Park, Eagle Rock, every neighborhood, even Cypress Park, Glassell Park, Montecito Heights, all have higher ticket prices than El Sereno. So eventually what is going to happen is things will progress to that because that's where people can afford to live. And when they improve the big three, commercial crime and schools, I think we'll see a jump, you know, over the next X amount of years, how quickly that happens yet the yeah, we will see, but El Sereno has that potential. I've been driving that home for a very long time, but we're gonna break down the numbers. We'll look at month over month. We'll do some year over year. Unfortunately, we'll not be getting into homes that have caught my eye. We will be getting back into that come February. I know a lot of people who follow this channel month over month do love that segment. We just don't have a, enough new inventory for that to necessarily be relevant and be less repetition. But we'll talk more on that in a moment. Let's get into the numbers. Before we get into the specifics, as far as what the numbers are telling us out in El Sereno, I just want to give you a little bit of insight as far as what the sentiment is for this year, right? Last year, low inventory, high rates, affordability at a low, decades low. As we move into this year, we avoided a recession last year by most people's accounts, not everyone's, but nothing catastrophic that kind of crashed our economy. There's a strong anticipation that, you know, as long as inflation continues to settle and lower, Jerome Powell's made it very clear that there should be at some point this year some rate cuts. I don't anticipate that to happen right off the jump, but hopefully by mid-year, we start to see some major rate cuts. We did see interest rates drop below 7% for the first time in a long time, which is great because what's going to happen is as you know, rates continue to drop, that's going to bring buyers' affordability back in. You'll see some people who've been sitting on the sidelines for 6, 12, 18, 24 months get back into the game. It'll drive the prices up slightly. And then what's going to happen is you'll have these home sellers who have been hesitant to put their homes onto the market, see the value come back. And then, you know, there'll be a little bit of craziness, probably a couple of months, you know, six month phase where things are, you know, a little bit wacky, but hopefully over time, maybe by this time next year, hopefully 18, 24 months, we can just get back to a normal, kind of consistent market, but we're, we're keeping our eye on that. And no one knows for sure, but the sentiment in finance and economic circles is that we will have a better year and things will kind of progress in the right direction. In El Sereno right now, we have 32 homes available for sale. That is pretty high. Of those 32 homes, we've seen nine price drops, 28% and a lot of, you know, normal, you know, markets, that's a huge red flag. What's going on in the neighborhoods is crime skyrocketing. But really, this is just a proponent of not a lot of people being able to afford right now. So homes are sitting for longer and longer, as we'll touch on here in a moment. And really, for a lot of these people, one of the only tools they have to actually, you know, stop sitting and sell is to lower the price to try and attract other people. Unless their real estate agent is going to go above and beyond and, you know, do some you know, creative marketing tactics, which most don't really have that in their back. We'll move past that. Minimum price to get in the neighborhood right now, 499K. We see, you know, El Sereno is one of the few neighborhoods on the east side where you see some turnkey homes available in the five, 600K range. Usually you see 499 in any other neighborhood on the east side. That is probably a full rebuild. This house needs some work. The top end right now in the neighborhood is 1.488. 888, that's a home that's familiar to us. If you're somebody who follows along in the channel, if you want to get to know that $1.488 million home, you'd have to go back to the October real estate update for El Sereno. Go look for top listing. It's going to be in homes that have caught my eye near the end of the video, but we break down all the financials on that. 
we get into some pictures i give you some insight as far as that home goes average homes available for sale 884 837 that's the insightful number when i talked about off the jump of the logistical aspect of el sereno and why there's possibility of this place jumping it's the only one that sits below a million dollars and we look at all these other neighborhoods you know um, no matter what neighborhood you look at even if you look at you know cypress park montecito heights Glasso Park, like they are sitting in the 1.2 range. You know, Silver Lake is looking at 1.7. You know, Pasadena is obviously, you know, up over 1.8. So there's just a huge room where it's going to push buyers into this neighborhood if they can really work on the big three crime schools and commercial real estate and gives, you know, some homely downtown areas. Uh, the median price is 817500 We have implemented this number into our daily breakdown because sometimes with low inventory, low sales, you have an outlier sale that's super low or super high that can fluctuate the average number. So I'm going to give you guys the median this year as well so we can, you know, have a better insight as far as some consistency in the neighborhoods. Um, for those who aren't familiar, average is the average of all the homes that are available, the 32. The median is just what that middle number is. Days on market is 67. We talk about this a ton in all of our neighborhood breakdowns. When you get up above 60, price drops are coming. No one puts their home up available for sale and is like anticipating two months of sitting without getting the right offer to get accepted. When they get to that two month mark, that's when you start to see people lose their patience and price drops ensue. January of 23, we had seven homes sell, 88% clip, one of the worst months in El Sereno ever. Seven homes is nothing. We might be able to get back to that. Hopefully, we'll get back to that from a year-over-year -year perspective. But what 88% means is, on average, of those seven homes, they sold 12% below the list price. So most people are going to list what the market tells them their home is valued at. So to drop that down 12% is a huge blow. It was a terrible month in January of 2023. We are going to put some good positive vibes in the environment and hope that January 2024, 20, though it's not going to be a huge sale month, obviously, with only 32 homes available for sale and rates still around 6.85 at the time of this taping, we're not expecting an 88%. That's one of the only east side months in any neighborhood where we saw that numbers fluctuate so low. But, you know, small sample size with just seven homes, you know, a couple people took a big hit, but uh, not a great start to last year hoping and we'll follow up next month to see how that reciprocates with uh, Osorino. But let's jump into December, see how the year closed out. That's gonna be the most relevant information if you're somebody who's looking currently in El Sereno, because what's most relevant is what's most recent. Let's go. As we closed out the year in El Sereno, wasn't the slowest December you see. Now, normally the winter months are slower. That's usually more reflective in January because obviously deals take some time to get through the processes and close out. December deals are usually people who are trying to wrap things up, you know, before the holidays kind of hit. And we did see 10 homes sell in El Sereno uh, in December at 107% clip. We love that 7% number. It really kind of showed that there was some demand for homes that showed value in the neighborhood. So it's great to see 7% above the list price, especially as we just mentioned, we're 88% in January of last year. So things have kind of you know, settled in, people are pricing their homes more consistently, understanding the market better, and we're getting some home value and some profits for the homeowners that are selling. Minimum price that sold 560K. The 500K market, you know, if you've been following along in El Sereno has really been a strong stagnant point a lot of those homes are obviously not super quality homes homes that need work but those are the homes that have really been driving up our days on market um, but we did have a 560 sell last month in el sereno the top end we had a 1.155 um million dollar home which is nice because it's the highest we've seen in months out in el sereno um, with a lot of these other neighborhoods like i mentioned having averages at or above that that can give you some insight to where the value kind of lied with El Sereno, especially with these little neighborhoods. As you, if you've been kind of following along with homes that have caught my eye, there's these little pockets of El Sereno, little neighborhoods of El Sereno that are really starting to develop, bring in nicer homes, get the remodels, kind of. And I think you know there's some value coming out of that. So it was nice to see a high ticket price that we haven't really seen in months 
come through in December, nothing above this number in November, October, the months prior. Average 800, 400K. Um, that's been consistent. We've been right around the 800K mark for the last two months, but we were over 900K previously as we look back to like September, October, July. So that's, you know, really where we'd like to see that number jump back up to as we get into, you know, especially March, April, May. We'll see if January and February follow December's trends, but it's a little bit below where we'd like to see things in El Sereno. Uh, the median price, 778, 500. We've explained kind of the differences there. Just a little bit of uh, extra insight on the 10 homes. That's kind of right here smack dab in the middle. Days on market was 17 as far as the homes that sold, which is good. What that tells me though, 67 for homes available for sale, 17 for homes that actually sold. Normally that number is between 15 and 35, but not for El Sereno. That means if you're looking in this neighborhood and you're really trying to find value and you're in the position where the next financial move to build up your future is to purchase a home, get with an agent now. So you are ready because if a nice home becomes available for sale, a home that was recently remodeled, whatever the situation is, you can't be, oh, I like this house, then reach out to an agent, then put an offer. You probably will be too late if that home truly has value. Reach out to an agent now. Just because you start working with an agent does not mean you have to put in an offer that doesn't fit what you're looking for. And it also puts you in a position that you get help, you get professional advice, you get somebody extra eyes to be looking at these homes and seeing these homes the moment they become available. Reach out to me if you need some help, reach out to somebody, get professional help. It makes no sense. As a buyer, your agent essentially will never cost you anything. That's just the reality of it. You are buying the house. Whole case, you know, drama going on with that aspect of the real estate game but that's the reality of what we're dealing with right now so take advantage of it get with an agent get some help december of 2022 we had 11 homes sell 101 percent clip so a 10 about around a 10 percent decline year over year we're not worried about that with the small sample size of 11 versus 10 um, but just kind of give us some insight as far as that stuff kind of goes as i mentioned off the jump we're not doing homes that have caught my eye i know for a lot of you that's the best segment we get to look at some homes I really get into the kind of weeds as far as breaking down some of the financials as far as the homes available for sale. We'll be right back at it come February. You have my word on that. I'm just waiting for kind of inventory to flip a little bit because we had so much repetition with the lack of inventory, with the lack of sales, that it didn't seem relevant at this time to kind of jump into that segment come January. But we'll be right back at it come February. Thank you so much for watching the video. We do this every single month for almost every neighborhood on the east side. We're doing Pasadena, Silver Lake, Eagle Rock, Highland Park, Glendale, La Kenyatta, El Sereno, Cypress Park. The list goes on and on. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. If you're somebody who's looking to purchase a home on the east side of Los Angeles or sell your home, I am happy to help out with you. Reach out to me. You can send me a direct message online or all of my phone numbers are listed. Even if you're somebody who's hesitant with 7% interest rates, that puts us in the same boat. It always helps to start preparing for future opportunities because you don't want to miss the boat there. We will tread lightly. We will look for value. We will get it done. I also do a ton of other videos. I get into the schools. I get into you know the restaurants in the neighborhood. I get into the attractions in the neighborhood. I do some other fun videos like quick cribs. So once again, like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Have a great day. Be kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eric. Mm -hmm.